Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I am your host and guide, Zelda Iron Shield. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day in Middle Earth, my friends. And when we left off in a literal tale, we were going to talk to Bori and continue the story quest. So let's do it right now. Are you ready, Zolid? We shall leave for Schnack Knock, and I will give the word of stealing and Willie, and they sh will, um, they should leave for the guarded outpost on the Eastern Road. We will drive the White Hand from Moria, friend. You will see. This is a solo quest. It cannot be completed with a fellowship. All right, that's fine. Let's do this. Saruman's attempts to bring the orcs of Moria under his sway will only be ended when his minions perish. The valor of the dwarves must be relied upon in these dark times. At Starsnach, the White Hand must be cut off. It's a lot of bugs, bug eggs. I think that probably be the most terrifying things in Moria. All right, guys, here's your, th your your question of the day. You can leave a comment. What's the most terrifying thing in Moria? The massive army of bugs that you just walk into that are all literally the size of like some of them are the size of a horse, or the armies of orcs, or the nameless things, which are probably the worst, or the Belrog before it was killed. No spoilers. Um, yeah, those are pretty scary. Those four things. I should do a, I should do a, a, a post on that on my channel. I will. I'll do one for you. You go vote on it. Here we are, Voice of the Rings and Zolid Iron Shield. If we are able to defeat the White Hand of orcs we should be able to drive them from moria with little difficulty but we must be cautious i do not want to attack attract any attention until we are near the leader we should not travel in a group for we would then be too easy for the sentinels to spot no we must travel single file you go first and then the cost is coast is clear you will give me a signal so i can follow our signal will be a wave Oh, that's, that's a good signal. Just wave to me when you feel I can run to you without being seen. Wave for me now so I can see that you understand. <laughs> Basically, okay, Zolin, now show me a single signal that I know you've got. You can click the green button up here, or you can type slash wave, and then be clicked on him when you do it. Like left clicked on his character. That's it, excellent. I know that it means the coast is clear. I'm going to be like, He's gonna be like, oh, okay. It's like, run. This way, Zolid. Hold up, my friend. I'm gonna turn the music down. Because the music is epic, but it's a little too loud. Oh, wow, look at this place where the Red Horde loads. Be careful. Do you see the patrols of orcs? We cannot let them see us, or our mission will be a failure. We are making for the building built into the side of the rock wall there. Straight ahead. It seems that the orcs are paying it no mind, and we will be out of their view if we can make it there. Run there without getting too close to any orcs. Once you have made it there, wave for me. Uh, wave for me when the coast is clear, and I will run to the building. Make sure the orcs will not see me. Zolid, your vantage point will be better than mine. All right. Get outside of the building over there without being seen when the orcs wave for me. All right, run, run, run. Oh, white hand sentry, run! Good thing their AOE is in straight line. Perfect, Zalin. Absolutely top notch. Oh, I know, thank you, thank you. Do you see that tracks pass over that in the gap of the rocks? Uh, yeah, I see it, yeah, yeah. Get beneath the tracks there without being seen and then wave me over when it's safe. Uh, okay, all right, we're on our way. of white hand sentinels he'll never see me he's dumb all right we're not gonna wave yet okay now he's walking that way now's the chance come on quick over here i believe he's running oh there he is come on come on come on come on get over here we gotta hide bori you walk so slow my man Dwarf. Uh, 
I'll spend not saying anything, but I think he knows. You worry too much. Ashpin's got this all under control. Look sharp, sluggards! The Greybeards are attacking! Some of us, some, some slaughtering for me! Save some slaughtering. What do the other guys say? The Greybeards are attacking Garden Junction. Plenty of killing for all. They did it. Willie and Steely have drawn the attention of the main body of white and orcs. Do you see the wooden platform straight ahead? Make run for it, and once you are underneath it, wave to me to join you, that is. If the coast is clear, we must proceed with caution. There are fewer orcs now in Snack Knack, thanks to our heroic friends, but there are still watchful um, sentries. Do you see the gap between the rocks straight ahead? Is there a platform over the gap? All right, get beneath the platform. We look like we're clear, guys. Quick, get over here, Bori. Well done, Bori. We're almost there, Voice of the Rings. Do you see the scaffolding to the north? Get to its shadows and wave me over. Wait for Bori to arrive. We have done it! From here, we will have to put a short run to the face of the white, a leader of the white hands. The time is for stealth is over. We cannot hide from us now. He cannot hide from us now. Let us put an end to him, my friend. Fear no sentries. The time for stealth is over. Now we will slay the orc leader. I'm right behind you, Bori. We've got this. Voice of the Rings. I like these little instances, I think they're cool. Oh, there's Aspar. Are you the leader of this pitiful band of orcs? Who wants to know? I am Bori, son of Bose, son of Biffa, the renowned. And this is Zolid Iron Shield, minstrel of the highest quality. We have come to cast your orcs from Moria forever. The dwarves may live here once again. Then you are a fool, Bori, son of Bose, son of Biffa. Know that I am Aspar, the merciless, servant of the White Hand. I am mighty indeed, but mine is not the sole power inside Moria. And yet, even without my warriors, I will slay you both with ease. Oh Alright, we're we'll bringing on Orc. Let's see if you can take Zolid Iron Shield and Bori. Yeah, that was a pretty pitiful resistance there, you orc scum. Let us return to the Chamber of Leadership, Solid Eye Shield, singing the song of our victory as we go. Moria will be ours once again, in no small part to the brave deeds today. Ha ha! Awesome. That was pretty cool. Bori! Do you think Ashbar spoke the truth? Do you think Aspar spoke the truth? We are victorious, and we heart is brimming with pride. We have left the White Hand leaderless and in disarray, just as I had hoped to do. Furthermore, Stealing and Wheeling returned unharmed from their dangerous mission. Oh, that's good. Though these orcs have underestimated the ingenuity of the dwarves. Still, I wonder that Aspar meant when he spoke of the true power in Moria. Perhaps my uncle can guess. Broga. You need not worry. Asfar sought only to frighten us with those words. You need not worry. Asfar only uh, making empty threats in an attempt to save his own life. I am proud of Bori for not giving in to the orcs. Um, co. Cor. Shit. 
Coercion. Coercion. Ugh, that's the word I was looking for. My nephew needs not be worried. All right, I will take those gloves. Thank you. Did I... Oh, there My it nephew goes. worries as much as his father. My nephew worries as much as his father. Do not worry about Aspar's dying words. The orc was trying to save himself, but it was too late for the words to do the trick. I wish that my own son had lived to the company of Bori on this adventure. There was honor enough for all, and it would have done Broin some good to be a part of such a victory. You should bring my son Bozi's news of his son's valiant successes over the White Hand. Perhaps it will cheer him from his gloom. Talk to Boise. All right, we'll go talk to Boise. In the chamber of crosswords. Let's go talk to Boise. I'm pretty sure I remember now a lot of these next quests for the chapters are kind of walking around talking to people. So we could do a lot right now. These halls will be great once more. <laughs> <laughs> <My goat. laughs> go ride like the wind like my little glowing hands just all by themselves in the air oh excuse me still not quite a hundred percent with my voice but i have voice of the ring so i should be fine my reading has confirmed my suspicions friend my we reading are in great danger has con Firm my suspicions, my friend. We are in great danger. Boise listens, kneeling um, keenly as you tell the story of his son's victory over Aspar and the White Hand, but his eyes fill with tears when he hears of the orc's last words. He masters uh, himself before speaking. Excuse me. He uh, masters himself before speaking, and his face is stern once again. You... I need to hear his voice one more time. Make sure I know the right voice. My reading has confirmed my suspicions, okay. friend. We are in great danger. You thought to bring me joy with this news of my son, Voice of the Rings, and Zalin, and I am sorry that it does not. I know this Mazog of whom you speak, for it is a name I have heard and recently. The White Hand is not the greatest threat to the dwarves inside Moria, friend. Aspar was telling my son the truth. We are in grave danger. I will tell you what I have learned from the book of Marzabul. I will tell it you what- It is grim indeed. I have learned from the book of Marzabul. The dwarves of Balin's expedition came to a terrible end indeed. I will tell you the story of their final days. It will cause me pain to speak of it, but I hope that revealing the truth about Balin's company will prevent this dire fate from befalling us as well. Speak to me when you are ready to hear the tale of that company. All right, well, this is gonna pop up. It's kind of funny. It's like an old style thing for like the PVP zone, but let us do it. We cannot get out. The final moments of Balin's expedition lost many years ago in Moria. Here we go, guys, you ready? We're gonna do it. Waiting to enter session play. So we're actually going to become another character. You remember in the um, Gundabad one where we became that other character in the adventure playlist? That's what's happening here. So enjoy. Alas, that Balin, son of Fundin, believed he could reclaim Moria but with a small force. As the Company of the Ring learned, the number of the orcs and the might of Durin's bane could not easily be turned aside. All right, so we are playing a, a different character entirely. It says Dash Voice of the Rings, but look who we are. Look who we are, you guys. We're Ori! Yes, the Ori from Thorin's company, but older, much older. <laughs> like, like, I don't even, I'm trying to think, how, what is it, uh, 60 years, 70 years? Between the Hobbit and the... Was it 80 years? It was like 80 years, right? Yeah. So he's a lot older. He's almost 100 years older here. All right. Let's open this up. It's going to let me big, make it big? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. It's like, it better, better let me make it big. I want to read it. All right. 
Captain Ori, you have arrived at last. I feared we would be overwhelmed before you arrived. But with your strength, we may yet push back the orcs. Oh, that Balin was still alive. We have need of his leadership against the whole of orcs. We must move with one mind, or we will not survive the fall of the evening. I will cut off from L Loni and Naili during the last attack. We must join them on the far side of the bridge, but many orcs have crawled up there from the pit and stand between here and there. We must defeat them before yet more arrive. Ori, this way, we must rejoin Loni and Naili on the far side of the bridge. And again, guys, Baru Kazad! Kazad, I menu! All right, so remember, guys, the battle right now is basically... Remember in the movie how they were, like, crawling up the sides? So we just went back, right? We went back, like, ten years to when Balin tries to reclaim Moria. Now, he just said Balin was no longer with us, so apparently Balin has already been killed, sadly. I don't know who Frere is, but I don't know if he's just a named character for the story, but we're playing as Ori. <laughs> I knocked him off the bridge. There they are. Quick, Frar. We have to save them. At last, take that. The thing's not well, Captain. There is no end to the creatures. For every orc we lead, two more spring from the darkness. Still, we are the dwarves of Khazadun. We will not let these orcs drive us from the halls in which we have lived f years too few. Ah, we're, t we're strong to come back to Khazadun. Were we wrong, Captain? With Balin slain, the endeavors seem ready to fall. The orcs are too many. No, no, we will stand. I will die a dwarf. Let none call Loni coward. We are decided then. One last glorious stand against the orcs. I keep the none will sing of it, Captain Ori. But I am glad that I have such an honorable and dependable dwarves by my side for its making. For Balin, for Khazadum, and for the glory of the dwarves. We will slay the orcs before we die, my friends. Baru Khazad, I agree. Oh no, we are really out we are really outnumbered. Alright. Die orc. Die. Slay all the orcs. From the left. For any reason, we're getting a little bit of server lag. Not quite sure why. Still happens. They're working on it. It's getting better. Um, things like this, though, little mini instances, it's a special instance that their server having to side do. So usually that's, like, no one's probably done this all day. I'm probably the only person that did it today, right? Maybe one or two other people. I don't know. Depends. The chapter quest probably is used more than others, but... It's... The server's just doing this just for me so look to the right again though the, the the lag thing is so far and few between compared to like five years ago with this game they're definitely getting it's getting better they're doing a very good job updating things they come from the main passage it's an epic little storytelling though isn't it so cool Come at me, you orc scum! Blade storm! Hey, bud! Oh. We are turning the tide against them! Forward! Forward! Charge! We're gonna kill all those horrible orcs! Out of our way, you orc! the orcs there's like so few dwarves left sad they, their, their company i think was quite a few that came moria war captain 
come at us orc we shall escape I do not like this, Captain. Some shadow lies ahead. See how my hands tremble. I have never quail, uh, quailed before my foe. A great evil waits down this passage. Worse than all the evils we have seen this day. I, I do not think we can face this thing. We must retreat. We must fall back. We must escape across the bridge. I will guard you. Retreat. Go. Uh, no! Loney, run! Hold, Captain! Something! No, Loney! Don't die! So, if you do stand there, you will die. And you will fail the entire quest. I did it once. I wanted to test it. The Bridge of Casa Doom! Out of our way, orcs. He is coming. It is coming. Drums, drums in the deep. The tiny, tiny bridge of Khazad Doom, designed to defend against enemies because you can only get a couple people across. So this is accurate to the book. Philly, this is someone else. Quickly, bring Captain Ori back to the 21st hall. We have to get out of here, Captain Ori. We must retreat to the 21st hall and hope that we can hold them off there. Okay, we're in the 21st hall. I was not certain you would still be alive, Captain Ori, but I rejoice to see you so. I wanted you here for our last defense. We are still waiting for the word from the scouts you sent west, but so far there was nothing. And now the orcs have taken the bridge and the second hall and close in our opposition from all sides. We are certain to follow Freyr, Noni, and Naili, my captain, even if we hold out for a little while. Hark, who is that? Is that one of the scouts? It is. He has returned from the west gate. <coughs> Excuse me. Olga. My captain, I bring sad news. The pool has been come all the way up to the wall of the West Gate, and there's no hope of escape that way. Noble Owen's mission has ended, and in failure, in surprise, he was taken by the watcher in the water, and the weapon he bore availed him not. So, again, uh, Owen's the other dwarf, right? Owen, a uh, Glowin and Owen, right? I, I think it was Glowin's uh, uh, brother, Gimli's uncle. They got killed by the Watcher. The surrounding halls are filling with orcs, Captain. It is all I can do is to make it back here, but it has been for nothing. What can we do? It is hopeless. There must be something we can do, right, Captain? What do we do, Captain? We have no hope of standing against them here in the hall. They will overwhelm us with their vast numbers. Lily listens to your plan, and his face hardens, his eyes stern and bright. You are right, Captain. We will return to the chamber of Mazabul and make the stand uh, we may. Uh, there we may last long enough to make them feel the sting of our axes and hearken our battle cries. To the chamber of Mazabul! It is where we will make our last stand. Again, there's lots of dwarves still alive, but not for long. We have, we can't get out the one side. There's a watcher. The Belrog's on the other side of Moria. There's orcs coming out of everything. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty uh, horrible story. Captain Ori, I will have a word with you. You while we bar the door and prepare. And that will be it for this episode, guys. I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger. Be back for the next episode of Elotro Tale, and we will finish this story. Thank you so much to my wonderful Patreons for your support. It means a lot. You guys are awesome. And 
subscribe button's gonna be there if I earned it, guys. We'll see you in the next episode, which will be up there on the top. And another playlist will be on the other side if you want to check it out. You guys have a wonderful day, Middle Earth, my friends. And I'll see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. And we'll find out what happens to the end of Ori. And does he die? Does he live? I guess you'll find out in the next episode. <laughs>